Welcome to Procoding Skills. In last session, we discussed about query selector, which will get the first element of the template based on the selector value. But in this session, we'll be seeing about query selector all, where you will be reading the same type of elements as an array. It, it means that more than one element from the template, all the matching cases, and we'll be reading those values and we'll process that. So to this example, I'll take up a scenario where I'll be going to define three input fields in the lightning card and one action button. The three input fields will be first name, middle name and last name. On click of button, we need to get the com concatenation of first name, middle name and last name as a person's full name. So this will be your scenario and uh, we'll try to implement using query selector all in LWC. Let's take a quick look how we can implement it. Let's first, I'll define my HTML template. Let's say, uh, as we know in the lightning or uh, dot, I mean developer.salesforce.com in the lightning web components, you can get a libraries. In that we'll be having a lightning card. Let me use lightning card. And here we will be having a few functions. Let's say, let me define title equal to query selector all example. This is my example. And I'll be having a button. So we generally have a button, lightning hyphen button slot equal to actions. This is a standard attribute available inside a lightning card and label equal to get full name will be my this one we'll write the javascript logic later first we'll define our template model and then i'll define my body let's define a simple class to make looks good so all these classes you will be able to get from uh, get sls.com as a lightning design system salesforce lightning design system you will get these details from there and let me define lightning input label equal to first name and value I'll leave it as a blank so let me define middle name first name middle name and last name and let's define a footer for our card slot equal to footer and I'll say full name is and uh, now this is my template let's take a look how our template looks deploy this to source all and let's take a look how this will be refresh our data binding this is the same component where i'm updating now so uh, this looks good like first name last name and uh, full name is get full name yeah this looks good for me now what i need to do i need to write my javascript Let's take a look, let's see, get full name is my function that I'm defining and I'll get as we, as I mentioned, query selector all will get array of information. Let's say name arrays equal to this dot template dot query selector all. And what is our selector here? My selector should be my lightning input. My selector should be my lightning input. Now I'll let, let's define a new label called full name. And I need to write my array function. So before I define my array, let's define a function, a simple function. Get name, get value input names is my function that I'm defining. So the item comma index. If let's say 
full name equal to item dot value where item is nothing but your html element available from the query selector so item dot value so i'll say plus equal to item dot value and i'll define one more property here output full name otherwise i'll say simply say full name that would be good for a sound name full name this dot full name equal to full name to get we need to call this method let's do a call name arrays dot we need to write a for each because we have more than one value i'll call my get inputs so this is how we need to write here you can see query selector and now i am using query selector all if you didn't watch my previous videos go back from the earlier steps of the course and take a look at how query selector we have been utilized on a different selectors so in this case let's go ahead and update our html file with a javascript function on a button click so action on click so action has been updated and let's update our output variable also is our output save deployed to the source arc once deployed let's take a look and in this implementation we had some issues the reason behind we are using a simply called lightning input as a selector so which will cause some confusions we'll see what will be that error i'll say that first name is first name and a middle name is middle name and last name is last name if i click get name you can see salesforce first name middle name and last name why we are getting salesforce the reason behind we are using a simply lightning input as a selector if i do a lightning input as a selector it checks from entire template it checks from entire template how we can avoid that in this way i'll add a simple if statement in this scenario if item dot label not equal to equal to what is my label that i have in the first attribute here i have change skill is my label so i'm saying if the element label should not be this then only i need to consider and one more issue we had here the space is not coming right let's add a simple space as double quote say deploy this to source i added some space between first name last name and middle name let's take a refresh now i'll say first name is lakshmi middle name is deepak and last name is inkurti get full name you can see lakshmi deepak inkurti how we are doing this by using query selector all with a selector input selector this is called a selector it can be anything it can be lightning input or it can be button it can be any html element available within the lightning web component template file and you can able to read those elements and you can process them within the for each loop and you can validate those and you can get the output render at the html file or even you can update your salesforce records if necessary thank you for watching video please do subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues thank you so much have a good time bye bye